Color to the Deaf and Music to the Blind. This is page 31 and I'm Tinashe. Feel me, I know you see it. Ready, let's go. Tanache, um, hey. you made quite a name for yourself on the independent music scene. Now Tried. you're signed to RCA. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. How has the transition to a major record label been? I mean, it's been great. I mean, they've given me so many other opportunities that I never would have really been able to get myself or would have been a lot harder to achieve so quickly on my own, which was great. But um, I really was blessed to have such a great supported fan system, you know, before I was even signed to the label because they really ride for me and, you know, they're always there to listen to my music and support me along this journey and this transition, which, and, and it's kind of hard um, musically you know, working on my first album to transition from working on your own in your bedroom, like recording your music on your own, which is what I was doing with my mixtapes, to recording like in big studios with producers and with all those people there. Like, it's, that's a transition, but it's cool, it's fun. So, I mean, let's go back a little bit, you know, for some people who might not know your journey. Mm -hmm. You started off in a girl, a girl group, yep. the Stunners. Yep. Toured with Justin Bieber and yep. <laughs> And then you ended up transitioning to a solo career. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about your time being in a, in a pop group. I mean, it was fun. It was a great journey. I was young at the time. I was like 14, 15, 16. So it was really, I think, a great learning experience for me. It opened a lot of doors for me. I think in the music industry, I got to work with a lot of songwriters and producers and really get my feet wet on, you know, being in the studio and just learning how to make songs and make music and just being on the road and getting to experience that whole thing, which was awesome. And it was really fun to go on tour with Justin Bieber. It was really fun. Um, but, you know, it's great now that I'm able to do my own thing because I'm really able to make music that I believe in and art that I believe in. And, you know, it's a little bit more true to who I am artistically than what I was doing with the pop group before. If I'm not mistaken, you made an appearance in uh, Justin Bieber's baby music yeah. video. <laughs> Did being on the set of that, is that something that gave you a confirmation, like, this is what I want to do with my life? No, <laughs> I knew way, way before then. Um, I knew that I wanted to be in music and entertaining since as long as I can remember, literally as long as I can remember. Um, I started like acting when I was a kid, a little kid, doing like modeling and like commercials and TV. But that was my way of like appeasing the entertainment gene in me, I guess, until I knew that I was old enough to start pursuing music full time because that was always what I really wanted to do. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you speak about your acting backgrounds. I know you had a couple episodes on Two and a Half Men, mm -hmm. which is like the top rated show. Yeah. Some people might recognize you from that. Um, Hello. Hi, I'm Charlie Harper. And this is Jake. We live next door, right, Jake? I'm Jake. Hi, I'm Celeste. I'm Jake. <laughs> Honey, is that the cable guy? No, Dad, it's our neighbors. Jerome Burnett. <laughs> Um, the man that played your father, Michael Clark Duncan, he actually uh, passed away a couple months ago. How yeah. did that news hit you? I mean, I w it was a shock for me. He was so vibrant and full of life when we were working on the set. He was very happy and energetic and spirited. So I never, you know, you never expect those kind of things. So it's very tragic. And my prayers and thoughts go out to his family. Is that something that you could see yourself doing again soon? Like being on a sitcom? Acting? I definitely plan on getting back into acting in the future. I took a bit of a hiatus for a couple of years, mostly because I wanted to break or like come out as a music artist, just so that everyone would really take my music and my art seriously. Um, but I definitely, you know, I have a big love for acting and being on sets and in movies and on TV. So I plan on getting back into it in the future. 
All right, so let's let's transition more into the music. I know you have the two mixtapes, In Case We Die mm -hmm. and Reverie. Mm -hmm. Both of the sounds are totally different. <laughs> I don't, there's no genre that you can really put yourself in. How yeah. would you describe your sound? I think that I'm a bit of like um, a rhythmic urban pop artist. You know, there's elements of R&B, there's elements of indie music, and you know, there's definitely urban influences. and. Um, I like to be able to think of myself as, I get a lot of inspiration from those places, from hip hop and from like indie rock kind of alternative music. So I like to be able to, you know, use these like alternative, weird kind of quirky melodies and like heavy like bass and like hip hop influenced lyrics or vibes and just kind of blend them together. And that's kind of what I think of my sound. It's not really a genre at the moment. Some people are like, you're R&B, some people are like, you're pop, some people are like, you're hip hop, and I'm like, I'm everything. <laughs> self-directed video, self-recorded single boss mm. that just blew up hundreds of thousands of views, ends up on VH1 single A's. Mm -hmm. What kind of accomplishment was that for you? Where does that rank? I mean, it was awesome for me to see a song that I had recorded in my bedroom on TV. I was like, hey, <laughs> this is awesome, you know? Like, it just shows that you really can, like, if you want to do it, if you think that you can, like, make a song in your room, it could be somewhere it really can so that was really you know affirm it was a affirmation for me to know that you know that I'm doing the right thing by just kind of taking matters into my own hands and the video same thing I you know we shot that video on my own I edited it on my own and put it up online it's got so many views and I'm really blessed and so happy that it's done so well it's really really cool people are digging the song for sure so was that was that the thought process going through your mind was it like oh, this is going to be a hit when you finish recording it, or was it just like... I, honestly, I hoped that the whole project, the mixtape as a project, would just, you know, get my message across, which was that, you know, I'm a real artist, and that I'm really in here hands-on making my music, and, you know, it's not just smoke and mirrors, and that was really what I was thinking about, the thought process going into making the songs. I just wanted people to really feel me as a person and as an artist. So was... <laughs> okay. Well, do you still do any recording on that bedroom yeah. studio? Yeah. I mean, now that I'm working on my album, I've been working in a lot of like big studios and with producers and stuff, but still I'm still continuing to create songs in my room on the side and, you know, do that whole thing. So there might be a couple songs that I recorded in my bedroom on my album, you never know. Okay. Still making songs, still making music. So, That's I mean, not me. Moving into now working on your debut album. What is it? How is the approach in the studio? Like, is it just you're just listening to music and going instantly, yeah, I mean, or is there a certain theme that you're going for? I really want to um, pick up the tempo with this um, new album, so I'm planning on just getting a lot of really great, strong producers to give me some just like bangers, and I'm just gonna take like kind of the influences that I had on my mixtape, even with like the vibes and. Um, sonically, the melodies and the harmonies, and kind of do that. That's kind of what I'm planning on making my album sound like. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think there's a few people that you've been working with that your fans will be really excited to hear about. Yeah, they Tell dope. us a little bit about the people you've been working with so far. Um, so far, I've been working with um, T Minus, Boy Wanda from like the OVO kind of crew. Um, Clams Casino. I've been working with a lot of people out of LA. I've also been working with um, this guy Ritz Reynolds. He's really dope, and um, this guy Oak. And it's just been fun. It's it's a it's a new experience. So just trying to find, you know, 
the people that I vibe best with and that we can make the best kind of music. It's 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 a work in progress, you know. It's always it's always a learning experience. Every time I go into the studio with someone new, we're learning something new. No, definitely. I mean, I noticed that, you know, through social media and a lot of things you do, you have a real fun going goofy kind of <laughs> yeah. persona. But then in the music it's like this whole other sense right. of person. Right. How do you hit that on and off switch where it's just like you kinda transform? Um, well, I think that, you know, people have many sides to them and I think as an artist people always try to box you into like having one particular like personality but I'm me and I have a goofy side and sometimes I just want to like have fun. Like I'm young, I'm 19 so I want to just like goof off and like be silly and just have fun but then in my music I'm also have, I have a darker personality, I'm a little bit of an introvert and you know. I'm into that kind of stuff and that kind of sound and you know just even like the edginess of my lyrics and stuff I think that's what makes me interesting because there's a juxtaposition between like my persona which is kind of like bright and you know my deep dark inner feelings <laughs> which are a little bit darker you know no, <laughs> um, all right well we're coming into the new year what are you looking forward to as you embark on this journey that is your career I'm looking forward to so much. I'm looking forward to a single being out on the radio. I'm looking forward to my album coming out, more music videos. I actually have a music video coming out at the end of this year, so that'll just kind of transition me into the new year. But I'm just excited for all of this new stuff for my fans and just to get out there and have a broader audience just kind of get to know me and do that whole thing. I'm really really excited for 2013. All right, great. Um, on a closing note, I'm going to end off by, you know, I can't let the people leave without knowing that you're a phenomenal dancer. Oh, thank you. Talk a little bit about how you incorporate dancing into your showmanship and into your music videos and yeah. things like that. Um, well, dance is a big part of my life. I've been classically trained in dance for 15 years, ballet, tap, jazz, you know, hip hop, the whole thing. So, you know, it was a big passion of mine growing up and I always wanted to incorporate that as an artist. I think it was easy for me to fall in love with dance because it's so much about music and I just love music so much so um, in my performances and in my music videos I just like to incorporate you know that extra I think it goes a little bit farther than just hearing the words because you're able to physically you know express yourself through movement <laughs> so that's why I really like dance it's very important thing to me and I'm excited to show the world even more of it. All right, it's just well, the beginning. <laughs> well let us know how we can keep up with the movement, how people can follow and join the cult. Sure. <laughs> um, well I'm on Twitter of course, uh, twitter.com slash Tinashe. If you don't know how to spell my name, T-I-N-A-S-H-E. Um, and I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, I have a website, tinashenow.com, so you can go there and there's links to everything, but I mean, I'm all over the social networks. You know how it is. So you can find me on Instagram, whatever. You want to follow me, like my page, like my pics, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Awesome. <laughs> you feel me deep down, you got me so quick, you miss me around when I'll be talking that shit. You hold me so tight, I'm singing so sweet, you fill me with light to the tip of my feet. You feel me deep down, you got me so quick, you miss me around, I'll be talking that shit. You hold me so tight, I'm singing so sweet, you fill me with light to the tip of my feet. Uh, yeah, and I'll be yours for the night. Tell me what you wanna do, yeah, do anything you like. All my thoughts are focused on you Won't let you know I'm never gonna let you go uh, Keep doing me right You make me feel like You're the only one I believe in Nothing ever get in my way Distance puts a little time between us You say, baby, you're worth the wait Just remember how much I please ya Don't forget the next time I see ya all night long You're gonna begin next to say, hey, whoa